In this video, we are going to be looking at a subscriber's question. And in the video, if I can remember, I'll link it in the description, but in a video that I have on this YouTube channel, which was how to get the last row of a table, I have a solution. And one of the commenters questioned, so how would you go about, let's say you had a partitioned column and you wanted to get the last row of data for the maximum, let's, we're going to use maximum, I should say here, it could be any, could be minimum, but let's say you want to get the, the last row of uh, data in each of those groups. So uh, we're going to go through an example here, and you'll see, first of all, I'm dropping this uh, table, but you don't have to actually do this. This is just so that I make sure that, uh, actually, does the table exist? It doesn't drive, exist. That way um, I can create the table. You'll see what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some values in this example, I am going to be using dates, and then I'm going to be using this made up stuff column. The purpose of this made up stuff column is so that you can see when I join back onto the table to get the last row of each of these groups. So I'll explain this in a second, but that's what this is for, uh, because if I just join back to get a date, it would seem like, well, what's the purpose of that? Well, because you're going to be trying to get the last row of data in each of these groups, okay? And then also, this solution is going to differ than the other solution. Um, and that's because I want to show that there's different ways to solve each problem. So this is not the only way you can solve this problem. So I'm going to be selecting star into a table. This is going to create a table on the uh, fly. This is just a very lazy developer table. Um, and that's just because I don't want to actually go through the process of a CTE in this case. So, but again, you can do a CTE, you can do a subquery. It's fine. I just, this time I want to create a table. Okay. So this is the one that I believe I'm going to be using. I want to use this one just to illustrate a point. Uh, but you'll see... <clears throat> That what I do here is I actually am able to get um, the year date column and I'm able to get the max date. So if you think about it, I've solved part of the problem. I haven't solved the full problem, but I've gotten the last row of data for each of these groups by year. That's what I do here. I group this by, or I'm sorry, I get the year of this date column, right? I'm then partitioning here. So when I do this, I can sit there and I can get this year date column here, and then I can get the max date column, and I'm grouping it by this year. So I'm saying, hey, get me the latest date for each of these years. And we can actually go ahead and we can fact check this if we want. In this case, I've made it easy for us to look at. And so it's like, okay, 2019. Yes, that would be this one right here. That's why I've marked it with these two dashes. Uh, 2020, that would be here. That's why I marked it with these two dashes. And 2021, um, that would be uh, the case. So we've gotten the last dates, if we think about it, right? We've been able to get the last dates for this group, right? For in, the, in this case, the group is year. So for each of these years, we have the last date. We're calling this the max date because that's what it is. That is the operator we're using. Keep in mind, if we wanted to do the minimum date, we would just use the minimum operator, right? Okay, and then I'll come back to this, but let's go ahead and see the solution through. I should have put this here. But what I'm doing here is I'm just joining onto the ordering dates this group by column up here. So this is the exact same query as up here. And I'm just joining it on the date column to the max date column. So when we do this join and we're getting T1 star, which means we're only getting the rows from ordering dates because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the last row for each of the group. In this case, this group is going to be the year. So we're trying to get that last row for each of these years. And we see the last row here is 2019-801. That's C. That's correct. 2020-701. G. That's correct. And then we see 2021-426. Uh, uh, and if we go up here, and we can see that lines out with our data. Okay. So sometimes that actually isn't going to be very useful because there may be an ID field. And so you can see we can also do it this way here, not for this particular solution, but if there was an ID field, I might tie it out this way. Uh, and so this is another alternative. Uh, in this case, the reason why it works is because it's dates. So that's why I want to join on that max date. Uh, but again, depending on what data you're joining on, this is a contrived example. Keep that in mind. So depending on what data you want to join on, uh, you may want to use a print approach like this. That's why I use this as an example, because if you think about it, when we do this ordering here, uh, this row number over a partition by year, when we're doing this year date column and this order by date column, we are actually seeing that it would be three. That's correct, because there's three values. That would be the max ID. There's three values in 2020, and there's two values in 2021. So this is correct as well. And again, we could flip it around if we were looking for the minimum. Uh, but the idea is that um, in this case, we can just join on the date and save a lot of time. So to answer the question, that's one of the ways in which we can go about answering this question. And that is, if we want to get the last row of data for a group, we want to think about how we first of all order that group. And then what we're going to do is use that operator in that case. 